Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create a transparency with glass. So here we have a kitchen counter, and now I'll open up a file with the glass on it. So we select the layer, we do copy, which is Command or Control C, or you can do Edit, Copy on top, then go back to your document and do Edit, Paste, or Command or Control V. So this document's definitely too large, so let's just shrink it down. And let's decide where we want to place this glass. And I might make it a little large just for this tutorial so you can see it. But I think that looks about right. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of the white on the outside. So we're going to select the Flood Select tool. Make sure the tolerance is low because all we want to select is that outside white and we want conti conti I'm not even sure how to say it, to contiguous or contiguous so that that means all the pixels next to each other will be selected but nothing past any borders. So let's just click here and that's selected now and now we can cut it. We can do Control or Command X or you can do Edit cut and then deselect so control or command D or you can click up here deselect there's a little bit of an outline and I'm not crazy about that so let's we can get rid of that by grabbing a little marquee tool I'll do it again I'll select that and do command control or command X deselect it do it again and here and we really don't really have to do this because it'll disappear anyway but I like to keep it clean okay so now the glass is ready just like that now the way to get rid of light pixels is multiply multiply takes the lighter pixels and makes them disappear any lighter pixels lighter than the background just disappear. So if we go up here in the blend mode while we have the glass selected, in fact I'll even name this glass, we select that layer and we do multiply. And now we could see it's transparent but it doesn't really look good. It's like invisible. We don't want that. So if you duplicate something that's multiplied it makes it slightly darker. So I'm going to duplicate the letter with Control or Command J, and it gets, gives it a little bit more color, but I'm still not seeing that, that light reflection that we need to put in there, so I'm doing it one more time, and this time, I'm going to say, instead of multiply, I'm going to say screen, and screen brings back the white, but we don't want to bring back that much white, so we'll take the opacity level way down and choose about where we want that little bit of reflection to be, right there, a little bit of lightness to be. So I'm going to say right there for now. So next thing we have to do is take the background, which is right here, and we're going to duplicate that. So it's Control or Command J, and it's an image, so I want that to be rasterized. So let's rasterize that which turns it into a pixel layer and I'm going to grab the marquee tool and try and find a spot near the glass especially where the counter is because we need some reflection so I'm going to grab about that much a little extra maybe All right? and then we'll say we can do edit copy edit paste or we can do command J but I'll just do it this way this time and what will happen you'll see a layer with just that selection so we can get rid of this layer for now let's first let's deselect let's get rid of this layer I'm hitting delete so now on this layer we want to flip it so we'll say arrange flip vertically and we'll move it down about there and maybe even stretch it a little bit like that 
Now we'll go over to the Warp Mesh tool. If you don't see Warp, hold down where it says Perspective and just choose Warp. warp. And with the Warp Mesh tool, we could start giving it a little bit of the shape of the glass. So for example, we could kind of do something like this, like that. And maybe, whoops, we don't want that. We want to grab this end up here maybe. And so you shape it to approximately what you think the glass would be reflecting in the area. And I would say that's not too bad. It should be a little bit of warp because a glass distorts things when it shapes them. So, so we've got to make sure that there is a warping in there like that. Maybe bring that up a little bit. And then when we're done, we pick that like that. Now, grab one of the glass uh, layers and do Control or Command click on the picture and that makes a selection. And now go to that warped layer that we just did and since this is the selection if you click on the bottom we add a layer mask now that warped layer conforms to that mask so now we're going to deselect that and I'm just going to give some things a try I'm not sure what exactly maybe I will do a little bit of transparency on that we just want a little bit of reflection to show. Maybe we can actually check out some blend modes. Let me see. Uh, you, average. I think color kind of works. Maybe we can give it a little bit less transparency. No, maybe not. Let's try. Uh, the fun part about any kind of graphic, digital graphics arts, is you get to experiment and decide on your own which do you think is the best. And I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I, should, I should have decided before I did this tutorial, but it's good to see the process. So I think I may just go with average. I'm going to leave it at average. And let's see, maybe the... Maybe I'll bring up the transparency. See the difference between that and that? We bring it down, we bring it up. It has to be reflecting something on the glass. Okay, so now that we have that, we take the glass, the first and the last glass, not the reflection, we don't need the reflection, and we group it. So we do that and we do Control or Command G and now we will duplicate that so to duplicate that duplicate that group is command j so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to name this one glass i'm naming this one reflection not reflection i'm sorry um yeah i'm going to name it counter reflection And now this one up here, I'm going to name it um, Vertical Reflection. You can name it anything you want, but I'm just doing this for me. So now I'm taking this one and doing Arrange, Flip Vertical, and I'm bringing it way down here and putting it right up about against here. In fact, I'm going to bring that one down below the glass. And this one now, I'm going to bring the opacity way down. I just want to have that little bit of reflection showing. And you could stretch a little. You can even warp it a little because when something reflects, it's not exactly perfect. But I'm, you get the idea. And now, let's go above that reflection and create a new layer and we take a paintbrush and we can use black for now let's pick black and take a very soft paintbrush so hardness should be almost zero 
and I'm using the right brackets to make it to make my paintbrush bigger I'm going to just you see where this shadow is right here make sure you stay on the same angle I'm going to be like dabbing a little bit like that don't worry about what it looks like now we can always fix it all right and now I'm going to use on that layer turn down the way down on the opacity I think I'll erase some of that because I think I did a little bit too much there with a little bit of just soft eraser just like that now the shadow should really not be black so what I'll do there is I'm going to hit in the shadow layer I'll name this shadow by the way in the shadow layer I'm going to click the effects on the bottom and I'm doing color overlay and what I'll do is I'll choose a color that's kind of similar to the colors we're using in in the in the actual photograph so now we click here to select that color and I and it it's faded a little bit too much I can always but I want to add a little darkness to it in that same color range and say close once again I could go darker or lighter use your own judgment there and I think that's it actually I'll bring the shadow right to the bottom right before there and I think we have it so there you go now you can see that a glass can be completely made transparent thank you for watching I'd like to do more of these videos so you can help me by clicking like and subscribe have a good day